Now, see in this question, there are two identical springs having a spring constant k 1 and k 2. k 1 is equal to k 2 is equal to 600 Newton per meter. Now, this is the equilibrium position. These two springs are connected with the trolley of mass 3 kg and this spring is actually this trolley is displaced to one side suppose by a displacement of 5 centimeter and then it is released. So, obviously, it will start oscillating. So, see here if you are compressing this side by a distance of 5 centimeter, this spring gets elongated by a length of 5 centimeter. So, both the side displacement is same, one side compression is 5, another side, uh, side elongation is 5 centimeter. So, we can say this is the combination of this is a parallel combination of two springs. So, we can write here first part I am taking here the time period of oscillation, we have to calculate time period of oscillation. So, we can take here k equivalent is equal to k 1 plus k 2 because that is a parallel combination. So, we can write here 600 plus 600 is equal to 1200 Newton per meter, this is the total spring constant. Now, we have to get time period. So, T is equal to 2 pi under root of m upon k, k equivalent. So, we will be getting 2 into 3.14 under root of 3 upon 1200. So, this you will be getting 40, 400, square root is here 20. So, 3, 2 into 3.14, 1 upon 20. So, this is here 10 and you will be getting 0 0.314 second. So, the time period of oscillation is 0 0.314 seconds. Now, see the second part, the maximum speed of trolley, that means amplitude of velocity, velocity amplitude. So, velocity amplitude that is called maximum velocity is equal to a into omega, where a is equal to amplitude that is given to you 5 centimeter is equal to 0 0.05 meter and omega can be written under root of k upon m that is k equivalent. So, we can put all these values and we will be getting here v max is equal to 0 0.05 into under root of 1200 upon 3 that is here 400. So, that will be getting here 0 0.05 into 20 is equal to 1 meter per second. So, this is the velocity amplitude. Now, see the third part, how much is the total energy dissipated as heat by the time or by the time the trolley comes to rest due to damping forces. So, see here the total energy of this oscillating spring, oscillating trolley is given to you here half k a square that is k equivalent and a is amplitude that is equal to half into 1200 into 0 0.05 whole square joule. So, here we can get 0 point here that is 0 0.05, when we solve it we can get 1.5 joule. So, this is the total energy and when the body comes to rest or this trolley comes to rest, all the energy of this oscillating body gets dissipated in the form of heat. So, this is the total energy dissipated in the form of heat.